putting on the insulation on the outside of the house where the um, foundation is at. The actual floor inside the house, this styrofoam is two feet in depth. The actual floor inside is going to be right about here. So okay. providing insulation from you know, the cooler temperatures from the ground coming into the house and uh, you know that's going to be provided down below. Now about the styrofoam, of course styrofoam is not very natural, not very healthy for the environment, but you have those three R's, you reduce, reuse, recycle. Well this is part of reusing. I got a good deal off this off Craigslist. This is at least the third time the styrofoam is being used. It was first time it was in someone's attic. Um, and the second time, the guy I bought it from, it was used on their outbuilding. Uh, it was in the uh, on the, the walls inside their their uh, metal storage building, and they wanted to change that, so they piled all these up, put them up on Craigslist, and that's when I purchased these here. So. From 12 inches up, we need to provide a way to prevent water from getting into the house. So the layers, if I'll show you the, the different steps of the process here. So, looking over here, you can see that covering the styrofoam is this pond liner. And just for extra protection, I have this plastic. This pond liner goes straight down. The foundation is protected three different ways. We have the French drain that's underneath that will, by gravity, drain the water all the way out. Uh, about 100 feet over that way by our garden and we have the pond liner that you know, protects the, uh, the styrofoam the insulation but also keeps the moisture from getting inside the walls and this plastic here we're sloping the dirt up 12 inches up the styrofoam and putting the plastic over it and then putting dirt on top of the plastic so any water coming down the side of the house will hit that move two feet away from the house that hopefully soak into the ground and not become, uh, not get into the walls to begin with. And also, we have our metal flashing here. So we're going to be using the uh, plaster we're using the outside of the house will be about two inches thick. It's going to line up, come out to about the edge here. Any water that comes down, we don't want it to move into the house this direction. So this is slightly sloped upwards, so any water that lands on this will slope down this way and come on out.